Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Skulk. Continuing this story, Winds of Change. This, 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 yes, the time, the time difference. Let's me know which one I'm doing. <laughs> Let's continue. Anything new? Thank you. <laughs> this day is great. Okay, so, go back to here. I have no idea where Howl is. What? But the loyalty scene. How? No. No, 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 no. I want it. It's because I wonder. I am curious, did I lose her loyalty scene when I let him in? Oh no. Oh no. It said her, it was saying that others' loyalty scenes were ready, and now they're not. Wait, what? Okay. So just so you know, I might be skipping to this point. Uh, you might cut out my search and jumps around. Um, I... This episode's gonna be pretty much lo a, a loyalty since I think. I don't think we're gonna go Balteus in this one, but we'll see. So all it says, loyalty scene. Yes. Felissa leads me through Mizeo to some sort of hidden cove area. It's a large ship, and it looks like some sort of dock with no signs of life. Did she know this was here? Stashes of treasure lay about, and it's apart, apparent that this place has been abandoned. The parents. The parents' pirate booty. Uh, after we returned, I got talking to the pirates. You know, to pick up any information on our parents. It turns out... This is their base of operations. Their HQ. Oh. <sighs> kind of funny, isn't it? We both ended up having HQs in Mizeo. But, to be honest, that's where I'd like the similarities to end. The more I learn about them, the more I hate them. They kept running off to Mizeo and left us in Sales' hands. <sighs> now that I think about it, he raised us more than they ever did. I guess they were more interested in this life of piracy. <sighs> it's awful. I guess the parents had a child, but they weren't ready to take care of them. She looks around the cove, taking in the environment. I wanted to come here with you to face the truth. Our parents were bad people. There's no denying it. They wanted this to be their legacy, rather than us. Hmm. She starts to walk around the area, and I follow behind her. <laughs> Look at all this junk they valued more than us. Weapons, money, more money, and lame scrolls. Maps to some far-off treasure and riches, I'm sure. Picking up a handful of coins, she throws them into the nearby water. Sorry for going off like that. It just makes me really angry. We idolized them for so long, thinking the world lost good people. But to realize that maybe the world is better off without them? It's hard. I can agree with that. As a kid, I just occasionally heard my parents fighting, but I thought that they're just angry at sometimes because I can get angry too. But as a kid, you just don't really notice things. My parents are divorced by now, just to let you know the end point. But um, I always thought, hey, I love my dad. I love my mom. They, my dad's not around a lot, but because he's at work. But whenever he's home, I'd like to talk to him, and we had fun and all that. 
And yeah, now, now we don't even get to talk to him because not that he doesn't want to, I think. Because his new wife is paranoid about losing him because of her past. Uh, but the point is, I don't hate my dad, but I'm disappointed and sad that my dad doesn't even take time to see the children that he said he didn't want to lose. I wanted to call him for Christmas to say Merry Christmas. Say happy birthday on his birth on his birthday when my mom said this is his birthday if you wanted to call your dad. And he didn't pick up the phone. And I heard out from my sister that does have contact with him because she's not living with with mom anymore that he heard uh, he heard the whole phone ring saw that it was us but didn't pick up because his wife said it might be your old, your ex-wife trying to contact you to say something my mom hasn't called or even thought of calling him she said since the divorce so yeah there's a little bit of story about me Anyways, continuing the story. Anyway, thanks for coming along with me. I just thought it would be good to do this together. I don't know how Fortin would handle it, if I'm honest. I don't know. Do you think you deserve the truth, too? Do you think you'll throw all the money in? <laughs> or what do you think you'd use and going, well, what they didn't use, I can use for good. I could be useful, right? Later, when this place isn't touched. And I can't believe this place isn't touched after all this time, too. She turns to face me, with a hint of a smile on her face. You know, I... realized I'm different from all of these rebels. They've been living oppressed in the shadow of the Triumvirate. But it was never the Triumvirate that held me back. It was always myself. I wanted to be a person who can make my parents proud. I wanted to do what society demanded of me. I wanted to be perfect. But this <laughs> was a real wake-up call. Nobody is perfect. We're all flawed at heart. We are. We... Like, I want to do a lot of things. Don't we all? Our dreams that we would like to see happen for us to take the initiative. But only some of us out there actually put a fire under our butt as a figure of speech to actually go and do it. Some of us have those dreams, like I do, and haven't got up to do it yet. I know I can. Why haven't I? So yeah. To realize that and embrace it I think that's all I needed to do. I feel like now I can be who I want and not who other people want me to be. <laughs> it feels like such a small thing, but a different perspective can change a lot, you know? I do know. I do know very well. And it's not small. It, you say it may seem small. Emotions are a weird precious thing. You may not understand why you feel a certain way about something, but if it matters to you, well, that's what matters. I nod. Well then, uh, wanna take a look around? If we can find anything to help us in Valteus, then it's not a total loss. I'm sure there's something around here that we can take along with us. Yeah. She starts rummaging through various crates and sacks. I do the same as her, but find nothing of note, except money. It could help after the war, but right now we needed something more. Hey, look what I found. Oh, what's that? She pulls out a pair of daggers and starts inspecting them. I think I remember these. Back when I was a kid, I swear I saw them. That means they must have belonged to my parents. 
or my mother, to be exact. <sighs> Just an intuition, so I can't say for sure. But I'd be willing to bet that my hunch is correct. Did you find anything good, Monarch? Mm -mm. There was nothing of note. Aside from those daggers, none of it was helpful. What do you say? Should I keep them? Might come in handy when we attack Belteus. Well, that was a good question, actually. She came here to move on from her parents. Taking this stuff could be a constant reminder. On the other hand, however, maybe she could make that, uh, make them her own. It was hard to tell whether or not this would help or hinder in the future. But with her final battles again amongst about, about, about the final battle about amongst uh, but with our final battle almost upon us, I'm afraid I couldn't afford a mistake. From what I've learned from this story, trying to use something and making it your own, and trying to make your own choices, can also, with this kind of feeling, it can leave a burden. Because you can go look back and go, I remember that. This is my, in this sake, these are my parents. They were not what I want to be. So I'm going to be making a difference. But it could be leaving a bad reminder instead of a motivational one. I don't know. So I'm going to go with what I feel. Not just from what the story might be wanting. Because I think I know how this feels a bit to myself. Leaving something behind, you can move forward with your own things instead of the reminder thing. You know what? You're right. This is pretty much grave robbing. She placed the daggers back where she found them, turning back to me with a smile. It seems like her visit is over. Well, I guess now I need to focus on the important stuff. What kind of person do I want to be after this war is over? I'm no longer held back by anything, so I guess my dreams are the limit. Yeah. She takes a deep breath of relief, as if a massive weight was now gone. I totally understand. I do. This was a big deal for her. And for me as well. Should we head back then? I guess you have other things to tend to. Uh, truth be told, I needed this. Thank you. You're welcome, Vanessa. With that, we're on our way out of the cave. Cove. The Cove Cave. She faced her past in that moment and came out even stronger. I have no doubt that she continue to grow into an amazing woman. Before we leave for good, I turn back and look around once more. This was where our parents conducted most of their business. That means this is the closest I've been to them in decades. Goodbye. Oh, heck yeah, we're going to be getting lots and lots of... Uh, uh, loyalty scenes happening. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to do a second episode, unless this is going to be a very long one. Hey, 14. Your turn. <laughs> We're having all the way back, huh? 14 takes me to Valinorth, North, and we look at the Grand Tree. It makes sense that he'd want to accomplish his lifelong dream before the final battle. With those metallic claws he found in Mazale, I think he could finally achieve what he wanted. And of course, he wanted me to achieve it with him. I'm grateful that he chose me, but I'm also a little worried. Is this really something I could pull off, even with those tools? Well, I guess this is it. I can't leave for Balteus with any regrets. So I'm finally going to do it. I'll climb the Grand Tree. Hmm. And with someone like you, no less. Think they'll talk about this in the history books? I mean, 
I don't think anybody else has done this before. And no one here is no one's here to watch or witness it, so you think they'll even believe you? I mean, anyone could just say I did, but yeah. I don't know. It's not like we need to have if you wanted to be in the history books, you'll need like witnesses. But if you just want to do it for yourself, then go right ahead. Going to be the first. Maybe. Here. You need to put these on like gloves. There's another pair that goes on your feet as well. After that, we just climb. We don't need to find footholds. Hmm. Being able to create them ourselves? Now that's a good invention. I gotta give credit where credit is due. The Zayans know what they're doing. Don't tell anybody, though. These might very well be under the trade ban. Hmm. Gives me a quick wink. It's alright, though. I won't tell anyone. It looks way taller than I remember. I'd try to give you some advice, but I don't have any. With those tools, this should be pretty easy. At least, I hope. Yeah. I'm glad I'm holding on to what we don't know if it works. <laughs> Just don't fall, Monarch. I don't know if you could survive something like that. I've fallen from way shorter trees and been in pain for months. Oh, you dragged me into something that's gonna break my bones! He sure is great at instilling confidence. <laughs> well then, got everything ready? Let's find a good starting point and do this. Oh boy. But remember it's a race, so no holding back. I want to make sure that we both give it our all. No regrets. Hmm. He enters a stance that implies that he's ready to begin. I nod to let him know that I'm ready, and assume the same stance. We make our way to the base of the Grand Tree and look up. This is the first time I realize how tall it actually is. Will we really be able to make it to the top? I doubt Wells is within me, but I don't voice it. I bet I'll be the first one there. All right. With that said, he digs his claws into the tree and he starts to climb. I watch him for a few moments before replicating his actions to a to a T, to a T to the tree to the tree 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 tree. After a few minutes of doing this, we're ex extremely far from the surface. Scared of heights? Make sure not to look down. I, for one, love the view. This is part of why I do it. Hmm. Hey, no fair! I was taking a breather. Didn't think you'd be the type to play dirty. Hey, I didn't have any choice. You're, uh, my protagonist is doing this without me. I would have totally stopped for you, man. He laughs. We s yeah. He laughs. We scale the tree. Is there supposed to be a punctuation waste in there? I'll add one. He laughs. We scale the tree at the, almost the same rate. I can't imagine doing this without those claw-like tools. In fact, they make this pretty easy. There's no risk of falling. Are you sure about that? It allows me to take a step back and admire Forte's skill. He was climbing trees for his entire life without this kind of aid. I suddenly appreciate his every stumble and fall, his every bruise. As we get higher and higher, we start to get enveloped in a canopy of leaves. We aren't quite high enough that they become red, uh, red but it's still an impressive sight. It blocks us from seeing the village below us, but it's beautiful to look at, regardless. It really and helps solidify just where we are. We're scaling the Grand Tree. Nobody has done this before, as far as we know, and it's been his dream for decades now. However, due to his, cha due to his challenge, the competitive spirit starts appearing within me. I'm not much of a competitive person. In fact, if someone wanted me to join in for the competitiveness, I'll do my best, but I try to balance out what I can do with that what they can with what they can do and make sure that they're not if I am the better in this situation, I do like to scale down because I know I can and I like to give them a little bit of leeway. But in this case, he said, don't hold back. So that part would have to be blocked off for the time being. At the rate we're going, 
I could very well beat him to the top. In fact, if it was a race, that would be pretty much in the point. Would be the point. But this would still be his dream, and he might deserve the moment. I am going to be into the. If we are allowed to choose this, I'm going to choose this because this is what he wanted. And here's a little, and I mean little, tidbit. When I was teaching my mom to play Mario Kart, I was holding back the entire time. And when she finally beat me, she goes, I did it, I beat you! And I did not want to tell her, but I don't like lying, that I was slowing myself down just so she uh, can actually catch up a bit so it didn't feel like I'm lapping her. Because what's the point of teaching someone if you're just lapping them? I wanted to help teach her. But then when she said, I don't want you to hold back. I want, I would, I love, I'm appreciative that you ta I'm appreciative that you taught me. But I don't want you to hold back on me. So, it was definitely difficult for me to heed those words because I felt really bad if I won the race when she just finally did her first lap. This is not a tidbit anymore, is it? <laughs> Sorry. But now... She can actually do a really good race. She can do really well. So I'm very proud of her. The point is, if they want you to do something and not hold back, don't. Because that would be an insult to them. Feeling like, I did it. But truthfully, when they wanted a fair game, which with these climbing claws, it's not really fair, but still, You'd be robbing them of what they wanted. So I'm going to beat him to the top, and I'm sure he'll be fine with that. It's what he wanted. I decided to fully commit to the idea of a race. Using all of my strength, I push myself as much as I can. As we get higher, we reach the blood leaves near the top. This is it, the final stretch. I use all my effort and attempt to defeat Fortune. And soon enough, I do. We reach the top and sit on a massive branch. Wow, I can't believe we did it. And actually, I can't believe you won. I guess you're just a natural at everything, huh? No, 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 you gave me clothes. You ha you're doing this naturally. This is my, probably, first time doing this. And with assistance. He smiles and inches a bit closer towards me as we sit on the branch. Look at that view. I know we can't see the village, but these leaves? I never thought I'd get to see them up close like this before. I've only ever seen them when they wilt and fall off. But being up here, and seeing them fresh? Wow. I wish I could take some with me, but I know I can't. He runs his hands through some of the blood leaves, clearly in awe. You know, this doesn't feel like I thought it would. I thought it'd feel amazing. Like I'd become a different person. But I feel just like I did before. I guess that's how things go, huh? Yeah, it's an achievement. It's not like doing... Like, running a marathon? That's the achievement that you did, that you gained from all that practice of running. But the thing is, the achievement is not just winning the race, or at least getting close to it, whatever the point. The point is, you can... You can climb for an immense amount of time, and very well. If you were to do the running for the marathon, you know now that you can run for a very long time because you practice. Knowing you have the skill, and a skill is greater if, uh, than winning. Winning just shows that you did better than those that were practicing just like you did and got to this point. Point is you all have this skill, and that's amazing. Oh well, at least that's one more thing I can cross off my list. A bit anticlimactic, but I don't really know what I was expecting. Maybe it's like East Crown, just the allure of the unreachable. He looks around the area one last time, admiring a view he may never see again. Well, should we get back down to the surface? I don't want to waste much time up here. We're busy and all that. It means a lot to me that we could share this moment. I'll never forget it. Mm. With that, he starts to climb back down. 
I follow after him, making our way back uh, to, 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 no, back to the surface. It feels weird to be down here after being so high up. So, what's next on the agenda? You know what? Never mind. You do you. I'll be around if you need me for any reason at all. Yeah. He walks away with a big smile on his face. I guess a dream of his came true on all on that day. When we got to Baltea when we got Yeah, when we got to Balteus, he'd have no regrets. Whew. That with my tidbits to say was a half hour. You know what? Because we have seven, I don't want to make this into three episodes. Well, I guess it kind of will be. Let's go into pros, and then we'll do these three, then we'll do him. Let's do this. Extra long episodes, guys. Pros loyalty scene. Pro leads me to Museo's town square, without saying much. I'm not sure what's going on, but he seems happier than usual. Things must be going well for him. I hope it's something good. After a while, he rests his back against a nearby house. Tapping his foot, it looks like he's waiting for something. Okay, Monarch, you're not going to believe this. I got some information about my parents the other day. After pulling a few strings, I was able to set up a meeting. Really? I'm so happy for you, man. That's actually a huge deal. I'm very happy for him. If I didn't say it already, I did. did. As far as I know, it's just my dad. I, I think my mom was under the weather or something. But at this point, I'll take whatever I can get. I'm so excited! I know. This is great. I'll finally get to ask him what happened. D do you think I have any uh, any brothers or, or sisters? Uh, wait, don't answer that. I'll keep my hopes low. Aw, fair enough. He has a huge smile on his face, and I can understand why. This is something he's been looking forward his entire life. The ability to meet his parents and find out why they abandoned him. I almost don't believe this is happening. For the last decade, I've had eyes and ears everywhere. People run around Mazeo gathering information for me to sell. Hmm. I prefer to do all the work myself, but anything extra is a huge benefit. I'm good at selling, so they provide the info, and then we share the profit. When we got back from Alarincia, one of them had a bunch of stuff to share. Oh, tell me. And one of them was the one piece of information I've been waiting to hear. My parents were alive and living in Mazeo all those years, and they were so close. I bought the information from him myself. I paid more than I have for anything else in my life. I mean, it means so much to you. I wouldn't doubt it. But you can't put a price on this kind of stuff, you know? My future and my heart is on the line. This is a big deal. I hope we don't have to wait too much longer. I'm nervous. Mm. I'm with you, man. That much was made evident by his constant rambling. I put my back against the wall with him, and we wait together. We talk about random subjects, anything to pass the time for now. But after a while, finding topics to discuss became a little harder. That's not because our bond was weak, but because we ran out of topics. The time of the meeting approached, and then faded away. No one arrived. I guess he's running a bit late. It happens. I can't hold it against him. He smiles and his incredibly nervous smile. I know deep down inside that his words may not be true. A couple more hours pass, but I don't abandon his side. Not once. Any moment now. This is how I feel when I'm in a waiting lobby with a friend, going, I know I'm bored, and I'm sure you're bored too. Are you willing to sit through this waiting room? Because, holy crap, this is taking forever. <laughs> I know how it feels, but this is talking game talk. This is for his parents. After a while, we slumped down and sit on the ground. 
His naive hope starts to dissipate into a harsh realization. But I can tell he doesn't want to admit it, so he continues to sit. As the sun sets, people start to retreat to their homes. I can tell that he's tired, and so am I. I close my eyes for a few moments. It wouldn't hurt to doze off for a little bit. I just need to make sure I don't leave him. I wake up a little while later, unsure of the time. But it's dark. It must be the dead of night. Pro rests beside me, snoring softly, asleep. I know that in his slumber, he doesn't have to face the facts. His dad never came. But why? Was he too afraid to follow through? Pro has a smile on his face. I could tell that he's still hopeful, even in sleep. But he can't sleep forever. He needs to wake up and face this. Giving him a soft nudge, he wakes up. But then, my heart is broken. He thinks I woke him up because his dad arrived. He looks around ecstatic. But then he realizes that it's just me and him. His ears fold back, and he laughs. Almost like he's not surprised. I knew that he would be... It would be hard for him to face. But he was abandoned again. I guess I should have expected this. I'm sorry, man. He sighs and crosses his arms. You know, I thought I'd give him the option. He could come meet me when they were ready and willing. Other than that, my only option was to just march into their home. Hmm. Of course, my courtesy just ends up stabbing me in the back. He said he'd be here, Monarch. He said he would. And I trusted him! He growls and punches the nearby wall in a fit of rage. It's not fair! I know. He grunts in pain and stands there, panting. A few, a few tears start to stream from his eyes. Why don't they love me? I don't know. We... We kind of are your new family, and we love you. I step forward and place a comforting arm on his shoulder. He starts crying a bit more, but I let him know that I'm here for him. I just wanted a family. More than anything, I want to belong. It hurts so much that they don't want me. I want to know why they threw me away. It's all I've ever wanted to know. It's, it's why I do what I do. I don't know if I can live the rest of my life without knowing the truth. He starts to calm down, and soon enough, his tears fade. I can't tell he's super conflicted. I can, not can't. I can tell he's super conflicted. He really wants to meet his parents. But if they don't want to meet him, there's really nothing he can do. It was cruel to schedule a meeting and then not follow through. His dad must have gotten cold feet, or maybe his mother needed attention. Under the weather, could have meant any number of meanings, not many of them good. Either way, this is evident that, it's, that this pursuit of the truth is causing him more harm than not. If he wasn't meant to know the truth, then perhaps he shouldn't focus on moving. He should. Mouth, please help me here. Then perhaps he shouldn't focus on moving forward. After all, he had a loving family in the re rebellion. He would never, we would never abandon him like this. I just don't know what I should do. Let them go, Pro. You have a true family with the rebellion. Left behind is the achievement. I tell him to go to his parent, 
I let him. I tell him to let go of his parents. He has a true family in all of his allies. Blood isn't what makes you family. It's love, acceptance, and understanding. If his parents wouldn't give him that, then perhaps he shared the abandon. He should abandon them. Let them go. He seems surprised, like nobody has suggested this to him before. Uh, I know you're right. I've tried, but it's really hard. What happened here today might change things, though. After everything I've tried, maybe this is the wake-up call I needed. Even though you'd like to be the one to say, keep persisting, keep following your dream, you'll find out. You're probably going to dig them into a bigger grave than what they've put already. Saying, let's keep going, keep going. And this could even be a wild goose chase. The information to let them say this is where they are, they could have lied too. That's another option. I'm not saying don't trust people. I trust people so much. I want people to be trusted. Even if people can abuse it. This is a situation where... They haven't shown themselves all this time, and he's taken an opinion, a, a, the opportunity, and nothing. I don't know. Thanks, Monarch. You're welcome, bro. He smiles at me. I'm glad I could help him. Even if it's only a little bit. So, should we get going then? I guess you have a lot of things to do. Given that, uh, I'm really glad that you came with me. You're welcome, man. <laughs> I don't know how I would have handled this alone. Having you by my side, it makes me stronger. And if there's anything I need right now, it's strength. You've earned Pro's loyalty. With that, we start to walk away from the town square. A painted pained me to see him go through this. Nobody should feel abandoned. But at the end of the day, he had people like me to stand by his side and help. So no matter what happened, he'd never be alone. Oh! Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I did not, I did not, what? I didn't earn their loyalty. No! starting friends dang it well like I said we'll leave it off here we'll do their stories and thank you guys for stopping by we'll continue to see, to see their stories and we'll eventually get to Balteus and yeah thank you guys for stopping by and until I see you guys again have a great day, everyone.